Hi, welcome back on this gorgeous summer's day. We're in, I think, day six of the heat wave, currently hitting Ireland. And we're at a spot which I've been planning to come here for ages. The last time I was here was about seven years ago. We're in Hoth on the north side of County Dublin. <laughs> It's Maria. Hello everyone. Now if you head first of all to the Summit Car Park, it's the start of many hiking routes. I'm not going to go on them this time, but just give you an idea of the views you can expect. Just simply wow in weather like this with the sun shining all over it. And just in a the distance there, you can see the Bailey Lighthouse overlooking Dublin Bay, and that's the Irish Sea in front of it. Also in the distance, if you're watching this on a bigger screen, you can just about make out Dunleary, where we were a few weeks ago, Dorky Island, even Sugarloaf, County Wicklow, and some of the other Wicklow Mountains, and Bray even, where we were the other day. And we're now at Hoth Harbour and in case it looks very familiar to you it's actually a mini version of Dunleary in essence if you have a look at that if you remember the Dunleary vlog from a few weeks ago even the walk along the pier similar design as well with even a similar looking lighthouse just through those yachts there you can't see at the moment but we'll get to it shortly so you can have a comparison of the two the temperatures now drop to a bearable 25 degrees celsius quite a few people around it's after seven o'clock in the evening. So people are making the most of hot days like this in summertime in July. So we're now on the pier, just gonna go up the steps above. And actually I was last here back in, I think it was August 2017, four years ago, because I thought I would come here to celebrate. If you remember, any of you who followed me for over four years, in August 2017, I won Top Flight Travel Photographer of the Year, which is my biggest feather in the cap so far, which won me that holiday to Madeira and also a Canon M6 mirrorless camera. So I ended up taking a photo of just under the lighthouse up ahead and you better see that on my Facebook page. If not, I'll just pop in a preview just to test out the camera. And it came up pretty well, I must say. But the gorgeous sunset, that told the story in itself. You always get lovely sunsets around here. So I'm expecting a good one later on. Just look at that view, sunlit with the golden hour. I think there's a Martello Tower somewhere hidden away amongst those rocks. Just as we're walking along the pier here, there's someone blaring music in the far distance there. <laughs> enjoying the moment, enjoying the heat of this summer. Oh, my bad, that's a Martello Tower just there on the hill. Can't believe I didn't spot that, but I was closer to it and because it was on top of the hill, that's why I couldn't see it until I got further away from it. And if you see anglers, wherever I go, I seem to spot them along the coast. And just up there, you can see the local yacht club out and about on this fine evening. And you can see an island in the distance. That's actually Island's Eye. I believe they do boat tours going to it, but they don't really last long. It's maybe an hour or so. And that also has a Martello Tower you can see on the extreme left of the island there. And even further in the distance, there's another island to the right of it. That's Lambay Island. And look at Google Maps, there appears to be a castle on it, but I presume it's in ruins at this stage and that's a view to the left as you're walking along the pier that's the harbour there you can see all the yachts don't know if there's any fishing boats in there but there's a few people jumping into the water and swimming just there at the bottom of those steps wow look at that it's full of life with the local youth no social distancing here amongst them <laughs> they're probably living by the old adage you only live once 
Those yachts really do look amazing, especially in this light. And I do go on about the light a lot because I love evening light, I really do, especially in the summertime. And it's still quite warm as well. A light sea breeze, which is expected, but it's just very light. As you saw what I was wearing before, I'm only wearing a vest. I'm in shorts again and sandals, and it does be fine for a day like this. And we've reached the lighthouse now and those of you who've been following my page for at least seven years you'll see a photo i took of a loving couple right here under the sunset the sun was setting just below their heads as they were holding hands and it was such a romantic shot as well if you go into one of my albums i think the intimate portrait of island album you'll see that on my roof photography facebook page if not i'll just drop in another preview below which you can see for a few seconds and i'll just walk you around this spot here there's some steps as well a bit steep I'll chance them. It's one of those speedboat things or whatever they are in front of me. Just went past, see if we can catch a gander of that. There it is. Oh, there's a couple of them. And we're just here at the bottom of the lighthouse. I'll try and pull back as far as I can without falling into the sea there. But that's it, it looks cool. And uh, there's a lovely red door on the side of it and flower pots are decorating the outside too. Yeah, it was right here I took that photo. Now, the lighthouse doesn't actually mark the end of the walk here. If you go a little bit further, there's a beacon as well. There it is right there in front of us. And you can walk all the way around it. And here's the view from that beacon looking back towards the lighthouse. And it looks like a cruise boat coming in. And then that's the other side of the harbour. And then looking towards the coast of North County Dublin, where the sun will be setting there shortly. And finally, Island's Eye. <laughs> 